What's up guys, you know I have tested many budget projectors this year, and they are very similar to each other. I mean, at that most LCD projectors under $200 have Full HD native resolution, up to 300 NC lumens brightness, and Wi-Fi support. As you understand, if the projectors have similar specifications, the image quality will also be about the same. However, when choosing a projector, you should pay attention not only the image quality, but also the speaker quality, noise level, design, user interface, etc. The new projector Turbo AMP has a very nice design in my opinion. Dual speakers, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, 1080p native resolution, 300 anti lumens brightness, very friendly user interface and even electric focus adjustment. However, let's talk about all of this in more detail. Please hit the like button to this video and let's start the review of Turbo AMP projector with unboxing. So we can see a new projector in a stylish designer room on the box. Inside the box there's HDMI cable and a carrying case. When you open the case, you will see the projector itself, as well as accessories such as remote control, power cable and a lens cap. By the way, there's also a quick start guide and user manual in the package. You know, Turbo AMP is one of the most beautiful and stylish projectors that I have tested recently. It has metal sides, while the top and bottom are made of a made plastic. On the front, there is a glossy panel with a lens, imitation of the second lens with Turbo AMP logo inside, IO receiver for remote control, as well as Full HD 1080p and electric focus inscriptions. On the back we can see VGA port, USB port, HDMI port, and the second HDMI port for TV stick, the second IO receiver for remote control, AV and audio connectors. There is also an error ventilation and a DC in port on the back. The error intake is on the right side, because the filter is located here. By the way, you can remove the filter and clean it from dust. At the top there is a keystone correction switch. Navigation buttons, power button, return button and menu. Finally, let's look at the bottom. As you can see, a projector stands on the four rubber anti-slip feet. There is also a kickstand to raise the front of projector and screw hole to install a projector on a tripod or a ceiling mount. Talking about the size of Turbo AMP projector, I can see that it is standard. The dimensions are 265 by 190 by 110 mm. The weight is 1715 grams. Overall, the new projector looks very stylish, thanks to the metal sides as well as the glossy front. To be honest, it looks more expensive than $200. By the way, I forgot to show you a remote control. I see that it is specifically designed for this projector because there is a Turbo AMP logo and a special buttons to control the projector, such as select input source, flip the screen, and focus adjustment. Unlike the other budget projectors, Turbo AMP has electric focus adjustment on the remote control. I think it is more convenient than the manual focus. Now we can turn on a projector and look at the user interface. You know the company says that the projector runs on Turbo AMP operating system. I would say it is not the operating system, but the user interface, because you cannot install apps on it, for example YouTube, Netflix and others. However, it is a very nice user interface with different settings. From the main screen you can go to USB, TV stick, screen mirror, HDMI, VGA, AV and settings. In my case, there is no signal, because the TV stick is not connected. If you go to the USB section, you can choose movie, photo, music and text. In the screen mirror, there are three wireless connection methods available, such as Miracast, AirPlay and DLNA. I have the iPhone, so I will show you how to mirror a screen through the AirPlay, but a little later. Now let's go to the settings menu. Here we can connect to the Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth device, change projection direction, change language, check the software version and reset the settings. Turbo AMP projector also has a power off timer, audio settings, where you can choose the sound mode and picture settings. In the picture settings you can choose a picture mode from standard, dynamic, mild and user, color temperature and a noise reduction. That's all. You know, the user interface of Turbo AMP projector has about the same functions as other projectors, but it is simpler and more intuitive. I like it. I promised to show you the Wi-Fi connection and the screen mirroring function. Let's see how it works. First, you need to go to the settings menu and connect to the same Wi-Fi network as your smartphone. Then return to the main page and go to screen mirror. As I already said, I have the iPhone, so I need to choose the AirPlay. 
Now you can take your smartphone, open screen mirror and select projector. That's all. By the way, Turbo AMP supports dual band Wi-Fi, but there is a latency. This is not a problem if you watch movies or show documents, but you cannot play games. In addition, the new projector supports Bluetooth. However, it does not be directional, because you cannot connect the smartphone to projector and use it as Bluetooth speaker. You can only connect an external Bluetooth speaker or headphones to projector. For that, go to Bluetooth menu and select your device. Now, I want to measure a noise level of Turbo AMP projector. You know, I have tested some budget projectors that were very loud. It was very uncomfortable to watch movies. However, the noise level near Turbo AMP projector is only 36 dB. It is even 29 dB at 1 meter. When watching videos, the noise is almost inaudible. I think this is also due to the speakers, because they have very high quality here. Turbo AMP is equipped with dual 5 watt speakers. The maximum volume level is about 81 dB. However, you will probably use a projector at about 30-40% of volume, because it is very loud. Overall, the sound quality is good. I don't think you need to connect external speakers to this projector. Finally, we can talk about image quality. Of course, this is the most important thing for any projector. However, as I said at the beginning of this video, LCD projectors under $200 have about the same image quality. Turbo AMP has Full HD 1080p native resolution 300 NC or 12,000 lumens brightness. By the way, the throw ratio of this projector is 1.4 to 1. In the user manual, you can find a table with a screen size and projection distance. I have placed a projector at about 2 meters from the wall and I have 70 inches screen size. The maximum screen size of Turbo AMP projector is 200 inches. The image is very clear, so you can read fine text. The projector can be used for the office or college. I also want to note the very rich colors. By the way, the contrast ratio of this projector is up to 10,000 by 1. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man! Oh, 
Conduction headphones. They also have IP67 waterproof rating, touch control panel, and 8 hours of play time. By the way, this is the second generation of headphones from 49 inch 144 Hz super ultra wide to get an IPS panel instead of VA, which is more common. And that means, on top of being a multitasking monster, this should have fantastic image quality and accurate colors rather than a two tone finish. Google has also traded a signature glass camera bump for an aluminum band and a fast 120 Hz refresh rate. The refresh rate is extra adaptive thanks to the LTPO tech, and it can go all the way down to 10 Hz depending on what's happening on screen. Now let's test the projector in a room with the light on. As you can see, a very bright lamp is in the center of my room. Of course, the image is much better in complete darkness, but even in a bright room, you can see the projection. It is very comfortable to watch sports matches or even play games. The main features of this camera are 1080p resolution, 9000 mAh power built-in battery with up to 180 days of battery life on a single charge, a powerful spotlight for a color night vision, motion detection sensor, and many others. In this video, we will do unboxing, look at design of the wireless camera, its installation, up functions, and video quality day and night. So, as I said at the beginning of this video, most LCD projectors under $200 in 2022 have about the same projection specs and image quality. Turbo AMP has Full HD native resolution, so the image is clear, as well as high contrast and 300 NC brightness. However, I think the main advantage of this projector is a very stylish design. It looks much more expensive than $200. I also like a speaker quality as well as user interface. I think Turbo AMP is a good budget LCD projector. By the way, there is a 30% off coupon code on this projector when buying on Amazon. So the final price for you will be only $140. That's for a good deal. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon on our channel Tech Brothers.